So this is the outside area of the Myrtle Plantation. It's a huge piece of property. This place was built in 1796. Wow. <laughs> it's just absolutely gorgeous. I know most of you have heard of the Myrtle Plantation. People have been asking me for a long time, when am I going to come here? And uh, we are here for the night. Look how beautiful the property is. Look at the trees. It's just so pretty. Now there's a couple of people that are staying in the room right by us that uh, are also here doing paranormal investigations. They're not on YouTube or anything, but they just do it because they love it. And they've been here about three or four times and said that every time they come here, they get a lot of activity. So the people told us that the room we're staying in is famous for coins getting moved around. Like if you lay coins down and leave the room, they will get moved. Okay, I'm gonna leave these coins sitting up here on the fireplace. And we're gonna be heading out to get something to eat. And I'm going to see if they have moved when we get back. That is so pretty. So this is the back side of the original home and there's a bunch of rooms up there too that you can stay in. That is so awesome. Wow. the original house right over there. Can't? Oh, wow. Oh, there's a little black kitty cat. This place is amazing. Next time I'd like to stay over here. I'm going to have to go back upstairs in a minute and get my light. didn't realize it was going to get dark so fast. This place is massive. There's all kinds of little uh, rooms back there to stay in too. Little villages and stuff. This one here is beautiful too. This place is so nice. Looks like freaking Christmas out here. It does. Could you imagine what this place looks like at Christmas time? Oh my time? gosh, I know. Wow. It's just beautiful. Built in 1796. In the room that we're staying in, the man that purchased it 14 years later is the one that fixed it up the way it is today.
I guess. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. So here's a famous picture they have circulating on their website and all around on the internet. You can see someone standing right here. And there's the picture, the original picture right there. And then they have it circled. And the spot where they seen it was right here. Okay. So right in here. Okay. Right in here is where she was seen. Hi, kitty, kitty. Hello. Everywhere we go, there's a kitty, kitty running around. Hi, kitty, kitty. Come here. Come here. Come here, kitty, kitty. The house cat. Okay, this is the uh, main house, the Myrtle's house right here, the main part of the plantation at nighttime. Whole different atmosphere. I'm hoping that we catch something on camera here tonight. Seems like a lot of people do. I gotta go upstairs and get my lights because I don't have any lights on my camera right now. It got dark quick. Okay, so this is Carrie and we met her um, here at the plantation, the Myrtle's plantation. She is in the room right across from us, her and her mother and her son. And Carrie has been here several times and she's had several experiences. So. Carrie, would you like to share some of your experiences? Sure. So, one of the first times I came here, we were sitting outside since it was a beautiful fall evening. We were sitting out, we were playing cards outside. And back then, they had a lamp and a tree on the joining path from the garden rooms and the main path to the house. Mm -hmm. And I saw a man, the shadow of a man, walk to the lamppost, but not past the lamppost, and he just disappeared. And I could tell that he was enslaved because he was, you can see that he was not wearing shoes and his pants kind of were cut off at the end. Oh, wow. And a little bit later in that evening, the, where I was still sitting, I could see the walkway to the um, parking lot. Mm -hmm. I see a woman in period clothing, her, her shadow, walk through the AC unit next to the house and into the downstairs bedroom. So that was the first time I came here. I mean, we had some great experience on top of the staircase. Um, we got a really good um, EVP of a little boy very loudly saying what after I told him he had to share a ball. Oh, wow. Uh, some other times, it was a really bad stormy day. I came with my husband. Um, most of the other rooms were canceled except for one um and there was no one on our side of the house and we were staying in the leak room which is apparently very known for being touched and during the night i did get indeed um rubbed very i got my leg got caressed very gently you know it's like like someone's just rubbing their leg you know mm -hmm. and I also felt what like the bottom of a nightgown brush across my face and it wasn't the AC because my face was looking towards the AC and it came from this way. Oh, it wow. felt like the bottom of the skirt just went right over my face. Oh wow. Um, some other times we've had 
let's see. Most of it is a lot of EVPs. Mm -hmm. We had one time, I heard, you hear an enslaved woman say, Master James, in a very hushed, like, almost, um, in almost a scolding way. Mm -hmm. It was like, Master James. Oh, wow. That's how she said it. Wow. And James is one of the little boys that had died. Okay. So, it could be the Nanny Chloe. Yeah. Um, we did get one that was very baffling to us because there's never been any record of anyone named Buster. Okay. And there was a gentleman that we were talking about the colored balls and there was a gentleman that we got recorded that said, we're talking, about, I can't remember which way we were talking about ball, like if, if you like this color. Mm -hmm. And they said, not if it's Buster, it's not, is what he said. Oh, wow. And we spoke with several of the employees and no one's ever heard of Buster. So my opinion is probably just somebody that was passing through. Could be, yes. So. Is this is like your third or fourth time here then? This will be my fifth time. Fifth time, oh wow. We, I try and come, since the first time I came here with my friend, we try and come at least once a year. Okay. Usually in the fall, um, for around my birthday time in November. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, this is the earliest I've ever come here. Oh, okay. When's your birthday in November? November 7th. Mine's the 17th. Oh, nice. Yeah. Another Scorpio. Oh, yeah. I knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Us Scorpios are just drawn to each other. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Are you clairvoyant or do you have any no, gifts you think? No, um, I mean, since I was a kid, I've seen, like, every now and then, mm -hmm. I've seen kind of like, or sense things, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't really call myself that. Okay. Yeah. I'm not I'm not as in tuned. Mm -hmm. Um I do perceive a little more than a lot of other people, but mm -hmm. I'm kind of the that, same way. I know much. I know what you're saying. I'm I'm the same way. And out of all the rooms here that you've stayed in, which one do you feel is the most haunted? Now funny enough, of all the rooms I've stayed in I only experience stuff in that room when I'm sleeping in the leak room. Okay. Um, usually when I'm experiencing stuff, it's like in the more public areas, not in okay. the bedrooms themselves, like up here where the staircases is, okay. downstairs on the veranda. Mm -hmm. The leak room is the only room where I've actually had things happen to me in the room. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow. And that's the room you were touched in? That okay. was a room. And that night was incredibly interesting. Mm -hmm. It was a really wonderful, it was in December, but it was warm. It was like in the 70s, it felt great. Mm -hmm. My husband and I spent most of our time outside. Okay. Like it, because hey, it was quiet since there was a major storm that kept, was supposed to be coming through with possible tornadoes. So like I said, a lot of people had canceled. There's only one other couple in the entire house. Oh, wow. Okay. And they were actually out at dinner. Um, and we kept hearing footsteps up. Because you can hear that, you know, if you're sitting on the veranda, you can still hear people moving around upstairs. Mm -hmm. We knew the only people were that couple, but we didn't realize they were out with dinner. And when they came walking up, my husband really thought someone had broken into their room. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. He's, he's, not a, he's not a believer. Right. He doesn't deal he with doesn't, it. He doesn't. Okay. Wow. But we could hear, like, I, I was using the restroom on our, on our side, and I could hear someone walking. Oh, wow. And this wow. was still while they were at dinner. Wow. And we were the only other, at that, apparently at that time, he and I were the only people in the house. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we had, it was bad weather. It was... Mm -hmm. And what's crazy is, like I said, we were outside almost all night because it was perfect weather, 70s, but it was raining the whole time. Mm -hmm. And overnight, it dropped down to the 40s. Oh my gosh. Wow. So it was like a. It was when we come back. Me drastic, too. I love the colder weather. Drastic temperature change, and mm -hmm. it was storming. So I think that mm -hmm. really amped everything up. Okay. And you said you've caught a lot of. Uh, earlier t this evening, I was talking to Carrie, and she was telling me that she caught a lot of great EVPs here. So that's that's pretty cool. Now, um, do you mind sharing with us, like, you know a lot of the history about this place. Uh, this is my first time here and I have read about the history, but 
I'm horrible at telling history because I get it fumbled and mixed gotcha. up because I can't rem my memory is horrible. So if you don't mind sharing a little bit of the history, like, sure. you know, kind of um, walk us through a little bit of the history that you know about. So the original owner was uh, General Bradford, who was known as Whiskey Dave, because he was one of the leaders of the Whiskey Rebellion. It was after the American Revolution when the American when the United States first started. Um, they were trying to tax the people making whiskey, and they didn't like that. So, but they lost the rebellion, and there was a warrant out for General Bradford's arrest. Okay. And he fled leaving his family um, up in the New England states and fled down here and he got a Spanish land grant and bought all of this area, turned it into an indigo farm. The general store was the original house while he was building his main house for when he was going to bring his family down. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't remember the name, I think, I think Sarah, is it Sarah Matilda? There's two Sarahs. The one's named Sarah Matilda, mm -hmm. and the other one's Sarah. Okay. So, um, I think Sarah Matilda was the one that was Bradford's daughter. And she married a gentleman named um, Clark Woodruff. Okay. The judge. Okay. And one of these rooms is his room, right? This is uh, the one I'm staying in. Is the one is, room. okay. Or okay. that's what they, they call it. The, the they call it room. that, yeah. yeah. Um, and he... This is where the most famous story comes in, is that he had a, um, a slave that was also his mistress named Chloe. And with Chloe, what he did was he had her be the nanny for the children, and they loved him. She loved the kids, the kids loved her. He had three children. Um, I think the oldest one was about 11. Okay. I think, can't remember very well. But then there was, the, then that was Cornelia, then there was James the middle, and mm -hmm. then the youngest one was um, Mary Octavia. Okay. Now, the judge had caught Chloe eavesdropping on business um, with other gentlemen, which, so he took her and chopped off her ear and sent her to the kitchen. She started wearing a turban to hide her disfigurement. Well, she wanted to get back out into the house, out of the kitchens, because the kitchens are very hot. It's hard work. It's worse than sometimes being in the field, mm -hmm. because you're over fire, even mm -hmm. in the summer. And back then, there was no AC. None of that. And, and it's dark. It's smoky. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of stifling. Right. And it's much better to be in the house. It's right. easier. It's a nicer life. Yeah. So she cocked up a plan to get back in the good graces of the family. It was one of the children's birthdays, so she was going to build, make their birthday cake, but she was going to lace it to make them a little sick so she can nurse them back to health. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, thank you, come back in the house. But she used oleander, and oleander is incredibly poisonous, even a little bit, and she put too much in there, and it killed the mother and two of the children. Mary Octavia did not participate in the birthday cake. Oh, my God. And so when the other slaves found out, this all happened while the judge was off on business. And what she, they did was they took her, because they feared retribution from the judge, they took her, hung her, and threw her body in the river. Wow. And wow. the judge was so distraught after what happened, he took Mary and actually moved, and funny enough, moved to the uh, parish that I live in. So St. Tammany, he moved to Covington, mm -hmm. um, and then I think eventually he moved down to New Orleans at some point too as well. Okay, he did a, did a lot of business in New Orleans. Okay, but they, that was where that family ends. Okay, and he sold the property to uh, Ruffing Sterlings, and that's the room we're staying in. Mm -hmm. So Cece and I are staying in the Ruffing Sterling room, mm -hmm. and he was a Scotsman. Okay, and he actually really made the house what it looks like today. Um, okay. Being the fact that they were Scottish and they're very religious, mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of religious motifs in the building, mm -hmm. um, including the famous um, the glass downstairs and the doors, the crosses everywhere, angels, a little I've cherub. noticed stuff like that, yeah. It, it was all to help keep spirits at bay. 
because they, okay. they were also very superstitious. Okay. So that's why you see a lot of religious stuff. Okay. But they did all the all the beautiful moldings and like they really made the house what it became known as. Okay. Um, they added this area right here was the porch originally. Where we're sitting right now was originally the porch. Oh, wow. So okay. that's why if you go downstairs, you'll actually see it looks like siding almost. Yeah. Like the door, the doors look like they should have been, you know, windows. Right. Because they right. are. Okay. But they, he th built all this in and added a whole extra area. Okay. Gotcha. Um, they had lots of children. Oh, okay. They had a lot of children. Some died just in natural causes, mm -hmm. you know yellow fever things like that yeah a lot of that was common back then so but they have one little daughter who died of um, who died very young I think she was only three years old um, supposedly her portrait is downstairs at it's a death it's a death parlor almost right so one of one of her arms is smaller than the other to mm -hmm. show that it, that's death and shriveling up and all okay. the other side is full of life. So, yeah. but then she's wearing kind of like that Scottish kind of uh, tartan style. Okay. And let's see, they that's also, let's see, I'm trying to remember where the uh, winters come in. And the winters that's is that the current owners or the winters were one of the owners i think it was one of um one of the sterling's mm -hmm. daughters married okay. Okay. William, i think it was one of her married william winter i might be getting my my facts a little well you're so getting it a lot better than what i would be getting it right now i can read something all day long and still not be able to talk about <laughs> it as well as you just did so <laughs> so thank you <laughs> this is this would be happening after, like during and after the Civil War, essentially, mm -hmm. um, he took over the, the, you know, all of the dealings for the land, right? And had, and he made very vocal pro Lincoln comments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, during this period of time, this is after the war. Okay. And. He was tutoring his son down, one of his sons downstairs in the men's parlor when a gentleman on horseback came riding up asking for a lawyer. He was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. he, he needed an attorney. So he steps out onto the veranda and he gets shotgunned. That was what you were talking about earlier, Susan. So he says, it? I'm William. Somebody like, was I'm, shot out front? Okay. That was, yeah, he says, I'm a lawyer. Like, okay. And he gets shot. To this day, never caught the killer. Oh wow! Supposedly, there might have been some rumors that it was um, clan related. Mm, yeah, could have been. And a lot of cover up. Because mm -hmm. they had some people that were suspects, but no one ever went to. No one ever got. Right. No one ever was charged. Okay. But that happened right on the front porch. It happened right on the front right porch. Right on the front porch. That right out the the main. Front, oh, right out here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it was, I know it was on the front porch, either the side, like right on the side there, but okay. I think it was, no, it was, it was in the one, it was in the further one away, because that's the men's parlor right there. Oh, which I was told it was in the front of the it, house. It, it's, it's still in the front of the house, but like more on the side, I think, is what happened. But yeah, he died on the porch. Um, I, I personally think that whenever you feel anything on the steps and you hear the heavy footsteps i don't think it's him i think it's his wife because she would have been spending more of her time upstairs mm -hmm. and i think that was his wife okay. not making it down the stairs oh okay and didn't somebody fall on these stairs and die too no that was a rumor apparently That's, oh but it, it, okay. it was supposed to be william winters that he that supposedly he was crawled up the 17th step and died Okay. Trying to get to his wife. Okay. But he, but the, but the news reports from the that time actually say he died on the porch. Oh, okay. Like he was like he, I got he got instantly killed. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, if somebody else did, maybe. But like I said, on my personal belief is that it was his wife Sarah, and okay. she she just when she heard, she just collapsed. 
I think okay. that's what that step is, is her collapsing and okay. that emotion is her, I'm fairly certain. Okay. Okay, she's going to show me some footage from another time that she was here. You can see her, my friend, sitting on the stairs there. Okay. See the ball just... Oh, wow, it's just moving all around. Yeah, but watch it, we'll watch, barely touching it. Oh, wow, it's doing circles. And so we're trying to passing it along. I'm talking to them saying passing. But you notice how it keeps going and staying in that corner. Yeah. The other one would, would actually pass the ball. Is it trying to get through that door? No, because no. you'll, you'll hear. Okay. Shh. You heard that? That yes. was the little boy after I said, you can have one while we play with the others. And Oh my watch. God. See, he's taking a ball away from me again. And then, see how it goes around her and then mm -hmm. runs down the stairs. It stopped on the second step from the bottom. Oh my God. And that was a little boy that I heard then. Mm -hmm. Can you play that part again? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see if oh he's about gosh, right. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. He's about right there. Whoa. And we had, it, we had it on too. So we had a digital recorder right in that corner. Uh huh. And it caught it really well too. Oh my God, um, that's so awesome. So we got it in two, we got it on the video and in the audio. That is so we, amazing. You noticed we didn't hear it. Yeah. It wasn't until the next morning it, when I'm looking over everything. What happens. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. That's one reason why I started doing the, um, the headphones. But yeah, the staircase delivers. That's cool, and that is right here. And there's the balls right there. She has them with her again. And there's the staircase right there. So maybe we can try to recreate that. Absolutely. I was sitting where Cece's sitting. It's and rolling itself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm sitting there. I'm just going to keep it from going down the steps. Yeah, it's fine. And I had this overwhelming sense of sadness. And mm -hmm. out of nowhere, like we were playing ball and all of a sudden I just start bawling. And as quickly mm. as it happened, went away. So, really? Mm -hmm. And my friend was sitting, to me? there used to be, a, the couch used to be over there. And she was like, or, or, or there was a chair over there or something, she was sitting over there. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, she asked, is it William Winters? And I'm like, no, it's her, is what I said. That's all I said was, that's all I came out of my mouth, but no, it's her. Hmm. You're gonna come play with us? Is Cornelia coming here? Let me get my uh, digital recorder out. Okay. We're all my hand. Oh, why don't we um, go ahead and touch my hand with it. Set the uh, SLS camera up right here. Yeah, too. that would be awesome. Touch okay, so hand. she has her SLS camera set up right here. And you can see Cece on it sitting over there by the stairs. Alright, I'm recording on the digital recorder next to us on the stairs. You gotta pass the ball. Can't keep him in the corner. I'm just watching it turn itself away from going down the steps. Alright, I'm gonna leave this ball over here. Unless you want this ball, and we'll take that one. Move the ball you want to use. The blue one's moving a little bit. Yeah, 
Is there anyone here with us playing? Want to play with us? Does James want to play? Does Cornelia? Turn it the other way. Hopefully, it like, changes direction on the phone. Wow. towards you, it keeps coming back. I, I know, it, that's what I'm saying, it changes itself, it's, Hi, it's it direction on its own. I'm going to keep going, I'm going to pass it this way. Are you going to pass it back to me? Thank you. Are you going to bring it to me? Okay. Wow, that is just crazy. Yeah, right here. And this you floor is pretty it. level. <laughs> Pass it this way. Oh, I shall. That one's back the other bottom. Is, is that James in the corner there? James would have to keep playing with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the ball totally change. I, I haven't either. Not like this. This is just amazing. Look at that. It won't even let itself go down the stairs. I mean, it comes right to the edge of the stairs, too. And I'm holding my hands up, and it just changes. Wow. That's just amazing. Okay, we are about to do the Estes method. And I'm um, going to oh. ask Cece some questions. She's not going to hear the questions that I'm asking. And, um... So she's not going to hear the questions that I'm asking, and um, I'm going to see what kind of responses she gets from the spirits here at the Myrtles. She's she, coming when we're ready. She's got her cute little piggy mask. That is so cute. Um, okay. Uh, la, la, la. Where's the spirit box? Oh, it's right there. I can't hear here, you. Let me see it. It's right Okay. Oh, Just I don't it. have my glasses. I'll, I'll get it. Are these yours or mine? Those are mine. Okay. But I can't wear them. Okay. No, you're fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so here we go, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. What the? What was that? <laughs> oh, my God. You just woke everybody up here, probably. Oh my god, that was snorting. 
curtain. Uh, <laughs> that scared the, cat the ball. shit out of me. The cat ball's going crazy over here. <laughs> what was it? It, it was just something. Loud. It was the song. Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, let me just make sure I turn the volume Please down turn a little the bit. Volume. Okay. Here, um, there's actually a volume control on there too. I think. All right. Hand me the, hand me the um, headphones. <laughs> wow. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> They were talking about for some reason in August they catch the scream oh. of a woman, and it's some reason. And that it's only like in here. That's really? it. That's <laughs> it right there. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna ask some questions. Okay. Now you can't hear me, can you? She's not saying nothing, so I guess not. Okay. So. We would like to communicate with whatever spirits are here. Can you come forward and let us know what your name is? Talk through this device right here. What's your name? Who's with us? Can you come say your name, please? Standing. Where are you standing? Are you near the stairs? Leave you. Leave who? Got you. I got you. Which one? Who do you have? Something down. You're d are you downstairs? Do you got chills around you? Mm -hmm. She's she's getting there's something around her. She's getting teary eyed. You getting teary eyed? Oh, you are. Yeah. So she's who's it? Who's it? Sandy. Over here behind me. It's passing. Are you sad about something? Is Come inside. The judge here. Is this Mr. Williams? There are so many spirits. They're just, they're just so, I, I can't hardly. Cornelia, are you here? Over there. By who? Twelve. Cornelia would have been about, I think, eleven or twelve. Okay. Or is that twelve spirits? Is that how old you are? In my room. What's in your room? Been here before. Are you talking about us? Have we been here before? Do you know my name? No. No? Do you remember me? Is Chloe here? Sounds like they're talking Spanish. I don't know Spanish. This would have been I want more like Spanish territory at one point. Okay. You can turn this on airplane mode. 
People. There's lots of people here tonight. I see people. Oh, oh nice clarification. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So you see people, do you see them all the time? After work. Is Chloe here? There's a mosquito. It's a mosquito. Somebody just touched my arm. It's a mosquito. It's a mosquito. I just here. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But, but the people out there yes. don't know. Yeah, there's a mosquito that just landed on her. Is Mrs. Winter here? Look at me. Where? At, are you at the stairs? Why are you still here? Jack? Is Jack visiting? Is he a visitor? Injury. Where did you get injured? Were you murdered? Over money. You were murdered over money? Did you live in a cabin on grounds? children are here right now? Do you like having all these people coming visit? Seven women. <coughs> Excuse me. Seven women. <clears throat> There's seven women here right now. No children. Parade. Parade. Hmm. When did the raid happen? I think they said 33. Maybe uh, 1833 or mm -hmm. 1933. I don't know. This place has been here over 200 years. Oh. It's amazing. Dread. What's causing dread? Back off. Are you telling the people downstairs to back off? The ones on the veranda? Four. There's, are there four down there? Are they, do, are they doing something they're not supposed to? Like me, smoking. They're down there smoking. One second, I'm gonna go down there because there's four. There's people on the veranda. I can see. You're them. right. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if they're smoking. Now. Oh my god! And see and if there's smoking. four. I thought it was just yeah, they're not supposed to smoke on the veranda. Yes. Okay, she's gonna go. Yes. Check. Yes. I'll let you. 
You'll let me what? was smoking earlier, he was, remember, he was asked like smoking earlier, but I don't see anything in his hands this time. Be able to something. Hmm. There were, there were people down there. Okay. Um, I did see that gentleman smoke earlier, but I didn't see anything in his hands this time. Okay. Is Cleo here? Forty-four. Them over there. Who are you talking about? Can you say some names? They're talking Spanish again. Hmm. Can you try to speak in English for us so we can understand? Are you passing through? Are you going? Going where? Painful. What's painful? Is it your leg? Not much. Your ball? Oh, yep. The cat ball down there is going off. Put the camera on it. Watch it. Watch that area. Go ahead and keep asking questions. What year is it? Horseback. Was someone on horseback? Did you fall off a horse? The man who killed you was on a horseback? Mr. Winters, if you're here, do you know who killed you? They keep talking Spanish. Really? This was a Spanish colony. They're talking Spanish. I don't know Spanish. I don't, I don't know Spanish. Spanish either. I don't know what the heck they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like decipher what these words mean and yeah. I, have, I if I hear something English I spit it out right yeah. that's okay they did have a battle you out here in St. Francisville really with a, a, a Union ship oh okay and the captain he was a mason yes he um he died and so with that story doesn't have so much to do with this building mm -hmm. itself, but with St. Francisville in general. Okay. It's called the day the war stopped. Okay. Because it was a very fierce battle, but because of the, um, he was a, he was a Mason and his one wish was he wanted to be buried with Masonic rites. Oh, okay. And so when he died, they, his soldiers sent a message over to the Confederacy and the, the leader in the, um, Confederate side Sorry, was a Mason yeah. too, so it's he. Fine. Oh wait, that's yeah, yours. So what he did was he stopped the war, at least for here in St. Francisville. Mm -hmm. Performed um, the proper bear, you know, gave him all of his rights, and um, and that day, Union soldiers and Confederate soldiers stand side by side, honoring this. They're dead. Wow. So and they actually recreate it every um, year here. 
they, they do they do a wow. reenactment of it oh, and they'll go so down cool. to the cemetery to for the uh because they did eventually go send him back up to um up north where he's mm -hmm. from okay yeah. so okay. also but supposedly around that time they had people stay here and they could hear cannon fire wow okay uh, on that day okay so was i answering any questions um sort of sometimes yeah. Some, some of it. Some of it was just you. You were just going random, random. I, whatever I could hear. Which I was funny. Really you were talking about downstairs, and there's like four. The, I did see two people down there. She walked down there while you were. You were oh, okay. Because I want you. Because you then you said smoking. Because I'm like, mm -hmm. are they smoking downstairs on the yeah. porch when they're not supposed to? But I didn't. Oh, shit. I didn't. I didn't see them anything in their hands. So. Okay. But they may right. have smoked early. And they wanted to let know. Didn't yeah. Because I did right. see the gentleman right. smoking outside on the, in the patio area. Oh, okay. But he didn't come on the porch to smoke. Oh, so. Okay. And was the rim pod going off? No. Because um, somebody had said, "Is that the rim going? pod I hear she, beeping?" We moved the rim pod. That's why. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did that's move why. it. I moved okay. it in the middle of the floor, and then the cat ball kept going off. So that y'all can see where. The rim pod and the cat box yeah. over there. Okay, so now we are going to see if she can hear you. So um, try not to speak Spanish if you can. I did, no, I've, I've, I've always heard that there is no language barrier on the other side. Of course, we don't know 100% of that. But if uh, any English-speaking people are available to speak accident. to us. Ooh. Accident, okay. Who had an accident? Hi. 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 What kind of accident did you have? I got you. Who got you? Who are you talking about? Was this accident on grounds? Did this accident happen inside the house? 